Okay. So, uh, this is going to be a different episode. Honestly, I didn't expect uh, to make this episode. I didn't really expect to start off this heavy, this early in the season. But, you know, when life hits you, it just... It's it's literally when life hits you and there's nothing much you can do and all your plans fly out the window and that's okay. From the title of this episode, you can guess what topic we're going to be talking about today and that is grief. Now you see, um, grief comes in all shapes and forms. It doesn't necessarily have to be the traditional grief where someone dies. It can be many things like getting fired from your job, losing out in life, not being able to complete the things that you used to do. You know, there's so many different types of um, grieving that um, sometimes it's difficult to see which one is which. But today is going to be different because I am actually going to be talking about the traditional uh, stage of grief, which is, well, the death of someone that you love. Really, I don't expect myself to be making this type of episode, but you know, it it's just what it is. So um, let me catch you up to speed since it's um, you can hear from the tone of my voice. It is a bit heavy, but I feel like it's it's easier and it's better to talk about it as compared to not talk about it at all because some people they don't really realize it, but talking about it um, normalizes it. And um, the idea of death is not something that you we all have not heard of, you know. Um, you're born into this world and eventually um, when you grow older you die I mean that is just part of life that's just how it is if you are fortunate enough to not experience it to not experience someone around you passing away that's great but for those that did experience it I'm sure it was unbearable and I'm sure it I'm sure it must have broken your heart so Maybe the most important thing to remember here is to be compassionate and to understand that when it's time for someone to go, it's time for someone to go. And you don't have to understand it. You don't have to question it. Sometimes death can come for anyone and it's not something you or I can say any differently. No one expects it. It it just happens, you know. And... I think what's important is um, the people that are left behind after that. Who is left behind to remember this person and who is left behind to remember all their memories, essentially. (sighs) This isn't meant to be um, heavy. I feel like uh, this is just meant for me to openly talk about it and maybe in some way or form maybe by me talking you can find some comfort because you are not alone and you know no one is ever truly alone but um long story short i received a phone call at 2 30 in the morning this morning and um it was from my sister and she told me that my grandmother from my mom's side was crash causing which essentially means they were trying to resuscitate her and you know a couple hours ago my mom did text the family group and she did say that uh, she was bringing my grandmother to the hospital because she was having trouble breathing and you know it's not her first rodeo it's um she has uh, some conditions she's quite an elderly woman so she does have some conditions and it's just this time i guess her conditions got the worst of her because she eventually ended up passing away um an hour later so from 2 30 when my sister called me i stayed awake until 3 30 and when she called me again i realized that that was it you know she was gone of course it didn't really hit me at first because it was like early early morning and i didn't really um register things I don't really know how to feel. That's like my honest, um, my on- my honest opinion, my honest personal thing. Because this isn't like the first death of the family. Actually, two years ago, I experienced back to back grandparents from my father's side pass away, literally um, two months apart. So that was kind of crazy, and that was a bit difficult to handle. But you know, it's already been a year, 
and uh, now my grandmother from my uh, mom's side has passed away too and it's um it's kind of bothered me because um there's just been so much death lately and it's not even it's not even like years apart it's it's literally back to back and it, it um i guess that is just part of growing up because getting older means the people that you used to be around also get older and you know they essentially have to go because it is just part of life they get old and they pass away and that's just it i promised myself i wouldn't be so emotional because it's supposed to be a celebration it's supposed to be a rebirth because i'm a christian and i believe in knowing that there is a better place that there is like um an after because i believe there's an after it makes things easier you know and my grandmother has already been preparing for quite some time she's already um known that she was going to leave soon i just I, i guess no one expects it no one really knows you know and um you know at this moment you you start to think like all the wishes and all the things that you hope you could do um my grandmother wasn't like perfect you know everyone is human and she did what she could to raise her family of course and uh, now that she's gone it's you know death comes from er- for for everyone it's not something that you can avoid and like i said it's nothing to be sad about you know i i guess it's just the the realization that she's no longer there oh and of course what's worse is the fact that um my mom is obviously distraught because it is her mom and um it kind of made me wonder how you would feel later on when i'm older and when i'm at my mom's age and i'm witnessing my own mother you know passing away you know as you grow older you're supposed to be better at this you're supposed to have like a better handle at things but after experiencing um you know after experiencing death so much lately it's just kind of been a bomb to me i think it's been a bomb to me and my siblings because it's just there's so many things happening all at once and you kind of feel like there's so many more things to be grateful for i know you know i made a joke with my not a joke but i did tell my my dad like bef- like during new years i told her i told him that it's kind of sad knowing that by the end of this year some people won't make it and I didn't expect that to like come true, I guess. I guess it's just this um feeling of helplessness, you know, knowing that when someone goes you can't help them, you can't um do anything about it, but you can be there for them. You know, and for those of you who are struggling with grief or for those of you who have experienced with grief, I'm sure you know what I mean by that helplessness. Especially when it's someone that you love, especially like, you know, I was there for my dad when um his parents passed away. It was heartbreaking, but you know you got to do what you got to do and it's it's a bit different from my mom because i'm not um around right now i'm not at home i'm somewhere else i'm um studying so it's a bit tough for me to go home because um transport and a lot of other things uh just things i don't think i'll be able to make it home but it doesn't mean that i can't show up for like the video conference and stuff like that so nothing to be um bummed out about Uh, people die every day it's not it's not uh not normal you know uh it's not so bad it's it's just a uh, part of life and you know where do we go after i have no idea i just hope that there is uh, something there though and you can't truly ever be prepared that's like the worst part about it and you know i think the truth is i'm not really um that bummed out over her passing because all in all it was a happy passing you know she passed away in her sleep and it's not like she suffered it's not like she it's it's not like she suffered and that's um that's good you know and uh, plus she lived a long long life and in my opinion that is the best way of passing away i think the thing that got me upset is the ptsd because um i've already experienced my other grandparents passing away like my grandmother from my dad's side actually passed away in um in a freak accident so that one was really traumatic so i guess um my grandma from my mom's side passing away this time unlocked that ptsd or or basically awakened that ptsd again it's a bit tough for me to formulate it towards you know but once you experience ptsd it's actually kind of um 
it's kind of easy for the PTSD to like rise up again, especially when you get triggered. In this case, I got triggered because I have a lot of memories about what happened with my previous grandmother. And um, it's tough, you know, it, it's tough remembering it. It's tough uh, memorializing it. Sometimes I wish I could delete these memories from my brain because it's not really a good memories. You're never truly ready. That's it. And I've come to understand that when it comes to grief and when it comes to someone passing away, you should be able to allow yourself to feel. You should be able to allow yourself to take a break. So if you want to cry, if you want to step away for a while, it's fine. It's okay to do it. But, you know, the passing of someone that's close to me also made me realize that I should be glad that I'm alive I should be glad that I have all these things around me. I still have people around me. They are they are people who are young, who have never made it to the age of adulthood. And that is sad. The feeling of grief, in my opinion, comes in waves. It doesn't come instantaneously. Maybe some people feel it instantaneously. But it comes in waves. In that case, for me, sometimes I'm okay. And sometimes I just tear up. It's... It's heartbreaking and it's not something you can control. Everyone processes grief differently. I guess this is how I process grief. I just hope that in the future there is no other terrible ways. Because a happy death is always better than a bad death. I don't know if there's such a thing as a bad death. But either way, just um, like I said, it if it happens, it happens. Okay, what, what happens next is how you want to control it and how you want to deal with it. I'm sad, and I'm a bit depressed. <laughs> it gets easier though, like with time and with like patience. F when my grandparents from my dad's side passed away, it, it took time, especially my grandma, like it, it took quite some time. But the more you talk about it, the more you describe it, I think the more easier it is, you know? I just wish sometimes it wasn't this hard or it wasn't this difficult when someone passes. I don't... I, I'm just so tired of death, honestly. I'm so tired of experiencing grief. I hate it. It makes me feel sad. It brings back a lot of memories. And it doesn't help that I'm currently alone, living by myself. It doesn't help because I really don't really have that much people to talk to i can talk to my family but it's a bit different especially when they're over there and i'm over here but like i said i really do hope that this is helpful and you don't feel too sad about it i know some of you might feel sad for me but like i said um yes i am emotionally affected but i know that i can uh, come about this one because i know it's bad to say but i have experienced it before this isn't my first rodeo i experienced it quite some time already um it's just the fear and the, the exhaustion of knowing that this happens back to back is making me feel uh, a bit depressed. Honestly, I don't no one no one should have to experience this. No one should have to go through it. But when it does happen, you can't do anything about it. You know? You you just have to remember, look at yourself in the mirror and know that it isn't your fault and know that certain things happen for a reason and know that hopefully they're in a better place, you know? And that's something that you should be glad for. They're not suffering anymore. They're no longer worried about materialistic things or having to survive. They're alright. They're better. If you don't believe in God or if you don't believe in religion, believe in whatever you want to believe that makes you feel better. Okay? In my case, I feel better knowing that my grandparents are somewhere out there. They're living their lives. And my grandma who passed away last night, this morning, sorry, she's much better now. And she can finally finally take a deep breath because she's no longer suffering and she's no longer complaining about back aches and um swollen feet because um, those were some of the things that she was really really agonizing over when she was still alive so this is gonna be it for me for this episode um this episode isn't in isn't intended to um share too much or it isn't intended to be too personal but i feel like i needed to say something about it because i don't think anyone really talks about it you need to talk about grief part of um, grief is talking to someone about it and um just getting it out there because if you keep it inside it won't end well Anyway, um, thanks for coming to this episode. Thanks for listening in. And um, no matter what, 
no matter how, always always live life to the fullest because you can be here one moment and gone the next and no one wants to live a life that they haven't li- truly lived, right? And I just want to let you know I am okay, I am fine, nothing to worry about here, I'm a big girl, I'll get through this and I'm sure you guys who are maybe experiencing it right now will get through it too, okay? So, thanks for coming, I'll see you guys soon, bye!